Greetings, Lux lovers. Welcome or welcome back. Here we believe in intentional luxury and we're not afraid to invest in pieces that will work for us. So if that resonates with you, then please consider subscribing and stay a while. So in a prior video about the first items I bought from each designer brand, I shared a really old, old Prada bag that I had used probably over the course of 10 years literally until the handles ripped right off. I then learned about a famous handbag repair shop called Rego Brothers by watching a film from Lo Yeye, who is located in the Netherlands. And so imagine my surprise when I looked up Rego Brothers and discovered that they're basically right in my backyard. So I just had to go and test them out and I just got back the finished product so we're gonna open it up together. So let's jump right in. So before I went to Rego Brothers, I actually took some footage of what my Prada bag looked like right before as kind of a before video. So let's take a look. All right, Lux lovers, I'm going to show you what we're starting out with and hopefully I'll cut into the future to when this is beautifully revived. I showed this before and it is my old Prada Hobo handbag. And as you can see, it's in pretty bad shape. The handles have totally ripped off from the top. I've used this for years and years. Here you can see just a little thread there and another little threadbare nub on that side. Here is the current state of the Prada logo. It is in the silver tone. And then you can see that the tab is kind of old looking. And the zipper, it's not rusted, but it's certainly not that shiny. Um, the bottom's not bad, there's no feet but the piping is actually pretty decent, not so bad. And here's the back. You can see that there's a crease for how it's been folded all these years, just not being used. Like I said, I kept this because I thought it would be a good makeup pouch, but now that I discovered a service like Rego Brothers right in my backyard, I actually have hope that this can be restored. So if we pull this open, um, one of the things I've always said that I'm really impressed is that the inside is quite beautiful. It's not bad in terms of the interior. I guess it's that I haven't really put anything messy inside and I don't really use anything messy in general in my bags, but it looks pretty darn good. The lining is nice. Here's the internal Prada plate made in Italy. It has an internal zip pouch and it has some Prada paperwork inside. It has a card and it has a number. So I'll keep that in here, I guess. If they can maybe fix or shine up the zipper, polish up the plate a little, and maybe they can even undo the handles and add in some tabs so that I can make it a new crossbody. Obviously, I feel like in the original, the strap wasn't detachable. So now if they just put rings, I can make it a detachable strap. I haven't even decided yet whether I want them to try to mix the metals because the one that I'm really liking, I'll put on the screen the version of today's Prada pouch that is the inspiration for this project bag that I'm doing. And as you can see, it's in gold hardware. So I'm not sure, maybe I'll keep this like silver tone plated plaque and add gold hardware. Maybe they can swap out the zipper. I'm not even sure. Because like my Chanel 19 tote, the mixed metals are like all over the place. So I'm not sure if that'll be too weird. I'll probably have a conversation with them of what they think. But I look forward to seeing you in the future and to seeing what they can do with the bag. So as you saw, that was in pretty poor shape. And so I'll share a little more about my experience when I got there. Um, it's this kind of very unassuming shop on this busy road and I went in and there were a few people in line, but like literally the walls are lined with people's bags and their shoes, really anything leather. And they quickly assessed, you know, what they could do with the bag. They provided a quote, they took the bag, I paid for shipping and then I got it shipped back, but I did want to see what it looked like firsthand. So let's open it up. I have my little tool here. So let's see how it came out. I'm so excited. Here's the nicely packed box. It's very light. Ooh, okay, here it is. Here is my bag, so let's open it up. All right. 
Very nicely wrapped. Wow, look at that. So here is my bag. They added some stuffing, but look at this. Whoa, so they added two beautiful D-rings on the side. As you saw, my bag was like down to the nub when I sent it out. So they must have, and here you can see, they must have literally opened up the sewing and had to re-sew that bag shut. That looks amazing. And these are silver toned Z-rings on each side. Look at that. And that's like in there, like that's super sewn in. Beautiful. And so when I open it up, here's the stuffing on the inside. And I don't think they did anything on the inside. That is all the same. The zipper is the same. They didn't change the zipper nor did they change the pull tab. They did actually wax the zipper for me, so that is a lot smoother because over time, it definitely got a little worn. I don't know if I wanna say it rusted, but it wasn't as smooth. So now with the wax zipper, that definitely feels really good. But these rings now definitely add some options to the life of the bag. That is stunning. And actually, let me see if I can look on the inside yeah, and when I look on the inside, you know, it's so well sewn up. I looked on the various websites. I went with a company called Muato, who also has some like handbag accessories and chains and straps. Dress Up Your Purse was the first place I looked, but the ones that I wanted in particular just happened to be out of stock, but they're perfectly good as well. So let's open this up together and let's see what I got. All trying to recreate the bag that I saw from Prada. So let's see, here is the Muato logo. My chains are all wrapped up and let's see how, how they come. All right, so they, this is very secure. Great. So the first thing I bought was a crossbody strap and I'm not sure if they customized this for me, they probably did. But here are the two silver toned clasps on the end of a, this really just beautifully made, very thin leather black strap. You know, you couldn't get more simple than this. It just looks really well made. And as you know, this is very like Louis Vuitton vibes type of clasp instead of Prada. I also like that these swivel so that your strap won't get caught up. Because I'm shorter, I picked a shorter strap so I could use this, maybe cross body and also on the shoulder. So I'll back up and try this on. And then I wanted to show you that I also bought a chain strap with the leather threaded through. Again, using that, that Prada picture as a guide. So we'll take this out. And this is really beautiful, guys. This is, this is gorgeous. And I know I'm in my yellow gold era, but I went with the silver tone because my Prada logo is in silver tone and also the D-rings were in silver. I was actually very, very tempted just to mix the metals. But the beautiful thing about going with a purchase like this is that I could easily buy this in the gold tone and just mix and match with my bag. So I might actually do that to get the look of that newer Prada bag. Here's what the little clasps look like. Again, probably the same exact type of hardware on the other one but this is the much shorter strap. So I can't wait to put it on, let's do it. And if you're enjoying yourself so far, I'd love for you to consider subscribing. I love putting together these types of experimentation, unboxing, project bag type videos. So if you enjoy that too, I'd love to have you be part of our Lux Loving community. All right, so here is the moment of truth. I am so excited. We're going to simply just connect my new little D-ring to my new Moato straps. And let's see. Perfect fit, and look at that match. What a beautiful match made in heaven. And then we'll put the other side on. I feel like Martha Stewart of bags, people. I did nothing, but I just feel like I created my own bag. Look at that, that is so cool. Oh man, I really love the silver tone of this chain that is like so edgy and cool against the silver tone of the Prada logo. And I could definitely see myself just wearing 
this um, on my shoulder. So I'll put it on my shoulder real quick, but obviously I'll, I'll move the camera back. I'll do some mod shots, but this is so nice. Even if it was just like this, I literally took a bag that I was going to throw in the trash and I feel like I gave it total new life with this. So we got that. And then furthermore, we have this leather strap. And I think what is awesome about reviving this bag with D-rings, it just gives it so much more life. So then here I added that on. So I have the two straps coming off and I will add it to this side as well. And here we are, look at that. Oh my gosh, I feel like this is so cool looking. I'm going to move the chair, move you back, and let's do some try-ons. So I actually put the stuffing back into the bag so that you can really see it um, in 3D. Here's, I took off the long strap. So here is what it looks like just with the chain strap. I will put in the description box the length that I purchased. And I can see this is just, this just seems like really good quality but just with the chain strap with the leather, I love this. Here's what it looks like on my, in the crook of my arm. Then here's what it looks like as a shoulder bag. I think once things that are heavier in here, it will kind of settle. But guys, this is bringing me back down to like 2010, 2015 when I was using this bag. So I think this is the coolest. And I'm just so nostalgic about this bag. I'm so excited that it has literally new life. And I'm also thinking about where I could use this chain elsewhere because this is a pretty sweet chain. All right, now I'm gonna put back the crossbody strap. I do love that this has the, the little swiveling head so that it really doesn't matter how you put it onto the rings. All right. So this is the trend of the day where you could have that hang down. And then here's what it looks like. Ooh, that is a good length on me. Look at that. So again, I'll put the measurements of how long this is. Again, I'm about five foot one, so I'm on the shorter side. So it hits on the hip perfectly. I do love how the chain is also added. This is something I never would have done back in 2005, but it is so, so cool. And if I wanted to, I could even take the chain off. And so it would just look very plain like that. And it would just be a little crossbody. but I love the chain. I love jewelry, I love shining, and I love mixing my metals. So I'm gonna have that chain out for sure, just like this. I love it. And if I wanted to, it could even, like I would sling it on my back like this, maybe even have it higher. If I wanted to get another strap that was smaller, it'd be cool to kind of have it just as a backpack. So it's, it is good to know that this is not adjustable. I think that is perfect. This is gonna be great for travel, great for bringing it on vacation, and you could really do a day to night look. So I'm so happy with the work from Rego Brothers and my straps from Muado. Awesome. So thank you to those who've stayed with me to the end. Let us know in the comments if you've ever used Rego Brothers and what you thought, or if you're working on a project bag. I welcome you to follow me on Instagram if you'd like to see more of how I style this luxury item in my day-to-day -day and other luxury moments. If you've enjoyed this video, I invite you to go down the rabbit hole that is my luxury curation playlist, and I'll put that link here. Please like it if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!